And here we go, welcome back. It's the end of the month, let's go through my garbage. It's so weird, but you know what? I love watching these type of videos. I like to see, because people, especially beauty influencers and bloggers, they get sent so much stuff. I would love to get sent that much stuff. I am completely jealous. But what do they actually use? They can't go through that much product in a month, you know? So, I love watching to see what people actually go through. And I actually went through a lot of stuff this month. So let's just get into this. My husband actually finished something up. It takes him forever to go through one of these things. This is from uh, Bath and Body Works. This is the Midnight for Men Hair and Body Wash. It probably takes him six months to go through one of these. And I'm like, you know, so... He likes this scent. I like this scent. I think it works really well. He likes it. So I will continue to buy it always. You know what? I probably should have grabbed another garbage bag because this is all recycling stuff. I'll put it down there then I'll put it away. I got through this. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I like having one of these on hand. I don't necessarily use it to fully clean my face or fully take off my makeup. Um, but I like having it just in case I just feel kind of bleh, you know, or I get home and I'm like, I don't want my makeup sitting on my face all day and I don't have anything else to do. Then I will wipe it off with, um, with this. And I think this one works really well. I don't, with some, I get that burning, like it, it just burns right here under this like sensitive area. This doesn't do that. It don't do that. Use this up. Method body. I shouldn't say I used this up. I used everything up. Okay. Well, maybe not. We'll see. I think there's a couple concealers in there. This is the Method Body Simply Nourish. I got this in a Target box. And I liked it. It was a little bit too thick and slimy for my taste. It smelled really nice. It was very moisturizing, but it was just that little bit of... I feel like it's a little bit of like a snot, you know, uh, uh. but it smelled nice. Used up one of these. If I pull out any more of these um, packages, I will just toss them aside. This is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. Uh, this is my, these are my favorite. I have those in every single one I do. Okay, I have two under eye gels. One was the South Main under eye gels. This one was from BoxyCharm. And this is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels from Skin Iceland. These I'm not so sure about. It felt very... It was between a tingle and an irritation. I couldn't tell, but I could. F there was something happening and I didn't like it. So I'll try them again because there's it was a three pack. I'll try them again, but they're also like the flubbery, like the like the flubbery ones. And I'm just I'm always like, oh no, oh they're falling down, oh no, and I didn't really care for them. Now these ones, I really liked these ones. I think I might actually pick some up. It was almost like a sticker, so it did pull a little bit when I took when I took them off. But it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but they stuck. They went where I wanted them to and it didn't pull off like a sticker. But it did stick. It did stick. But it wasn't that bad when I pulled them off. They were very cooling. I don't know actually what they did. But they felt nice and it felt cooling. And I really did like those. So if I buy any eye things, I'm going to get these ones. Let's do, I finished off this Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. I have a thousand of these between these ones and the Jurgen ones. Do I have the Jurgen ones in here? No. Um, I am trying to use them up. I'm not really much of a lotion person, but I will say that I do like these ones that you put on right after the shower. This one worked really well. I think the Jurgen's ones work really well, so yeah, I liked it. Recycle. Scalp scrub. I love this scalp scrub. It's my favorite and I do not want to pay full price for it. I can find it at Marshall's. I can find it at TJ Maxx sometimes. 
but I always get it if I can, if I actually find it. This is the Sugar Shine, Sugar Shine System Polishing Hair Scrub. Um, this really gets it all gunked, everything, and I have to use a ton of conditioner after. It just like sucks all the moisture out of my hair, but it scrubs so well, and I really, really do like it. So I'll use it until I can't find it anymore. Let's see what order we want. Oh, it's very wet down here. There must have been there must have been something wet when I put it in here. This is my favorite there. That was probably the wet. This is my favorite body scrub. Tree Hut Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. How can I why can I not say those three S's together? In this scent, high end Kukui. I love this scent. I love this scrub. I think it's amazing. It's very comparable to the Bath and Body Works ones, I think it's better than the Ulta ones, and it's cheap. This little tub was $8, and they're always buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one 40% off. I have a bunch of them stocked up from when they were on sale. I love this scrub. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. There's so much stuff on my hands. Okay, I got a bunch of deep conditioners, but let's just... I'm trying to organize and it's not working very well oh right, well, here's another uh, body wash Olay cleansing infusion hydrating glow body wash crushed ginger I really like the smell um the scrubbing wasn't really there especially because I love like the hardcore scrubbers like make me feel like I'm sloughing my skin off this one I think would be really good if you have sensitive skin, if you're not like allergic to the um, actual smell or ingredients. But this, it did okay. I will use up what I have of these because I think I have another one too. It is covered with stuff. Let me get into these. I wipe my hands off. Ugh. Okay. I use this up Knit Plus Fab Exfoliate Glycotic Scrub Fix. This is a great scrub for your face. I really like it. I really like using it. I'm using a little teeny tiny one that I have from Bath and Body Works and I will repurchase that. Body wash. Oh, I finally used this up. I love this so much, but it's so expensive. This is the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream sh Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel um in their signature set it's like pistachio and caramel my husband hates it but oh my gosh this is summer to me this smells like summer this little bottle which is 13.0 fluid ounces is 25 dollars which is insane for a body wash and considering like there's they have like a body spray and it's a huge body spray, and it's only $38. This is $25. But it's so good. Oh, it leaves my skin so incredibly soft. If I do a body scrub, use this to shave my legs, oh, my legs feel like amazing. And they're like kind of shiny. I put the, I put their cream like their lotion on afterwards and they are just oh they feel so nice but it's so expensive but oh I love it so much um with the whole beauty fix debacle thing with the Peter Thomas Roth um face mask they sent everybody like all the subscribers a $25 off code for their store and I got another one that's what I did with my code Use this up, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite eye makeup remover. I use it in the shower. Um, it takes everything off like that. I love it. I love it so much. I have another one in there already. Because I can't go without it. Makeup brush wipes. I think I have a... Oh. Sephora ones I, I really do prefer over this one. I had a sample of the Sonia Kashuk. And this is perfumed with something, and it's a little bit more wet than I prefer. These ones are a little bit... Excuse me. Um, not necessarily... These aren't necessarily dry, but they're drier than this. Because the whole purpose of using one of these wipes is so you can change the color off your brush and you can use it again. 
But I've not been using my brush wipes so much since I bought a color switch. Uh, yeah, these are amazing. Just, just so you know, they're amazing. Let's see. Let's do foilies. Lots of foilies. Lots of foilies. Foilies. Okay. I use this um, coconut miracle oil shampoo and conditioner. I would have loved to have a great experience with it, but the foily packets are so small that I can't tell you what it was really like. The conditioner amount was a joke because, I mean, I know I have a lot of hair, but come on. So, whatever. And then I used this Peter Thomas Roth. Um, this is their Acne Clear Invisible Dots. If you, do you see the little picture right there? Um, they're like little clear dots, and if you have like a blemish, like a hardcore blemish, you put it on there and you just stick it. And it sticks really well, and by the next morning, I wouldn't say it, it made mine go away, but it definitely made them go down in size, and I think it helped kind of bring everything to a head. You know, especially with this one. Oh my gosh, that one hurts so bad. It's been hanging out for about a month now. It's awesome. And my skin hyperpigments so bad anytime I break out. So if you see like these little, like the the dark... I don't have a zit. It's just my skin like trying to heal itself. So these did help. I think um, I will probably buy some more of those. I think I'm actually going to put that in my sweets for this month. Okay. We have a bunch of deep conditioners. So this has been, this has made an appearance. This is one of the best drugstore deep conditioners ever, 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 ever. If you're looking for something that works that isn't too terribly expensive. I think this was $7, maybe. It might be in $6. I can't remember. But this is, it's a great. This is the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist. It is a great, great, great deep conditioner for your hair. Then I used... This Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. I had a bunch of points at Sephora, so I got one of their 500-point boxes. Um, This was okay. It wasn't my favorite. It didn't make my hair miraculously do anything. I probably wouldn't pay real money for it because Living Proof is super-duper expensive. Um... But it was it was okay. So if I mean if you have this as an option to get for points and you want to try it, you know, I liked it enough that it wasn't like, oh my god, it ruined my hair. Then I got one of these. This is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Intense Repair Hair Sheet Mask. And I left all of this in here. Maybe that's what was making everything wet. Because I wanted to show you. It comes like this. And then you undo it and you're supposed to do this before you get in the shower and then you open it up like so and there's deep conditioner crap in there not crap but you know like there's deep conditioner stuff in there and you're supposed to put your hair up like I had to wrap it so it was like this put this on your head Use this little sticky tab, which stays sticky. I don't know what technology they use because it definitely got wet in the shower. And you tape it on your head and you finish your shower. How long did I have to leave it on here? Five minutes. The problem that I have is my hair is so long that um, I don't think it got everywhere. I mean, my hair is... It's it's pretty long. So, you know, to get all of that up in that cap and with all the product on it, it just did not work well for me. I would say maybe if your hair is, let me say mine is almost down there. So I'd say if it's here, like collarbone or shorter, I bet it would work amazingly well. The parts that got the conditioner on them, yeah, they, it felt like I had a deep conditioner on. 
I have another one of these, so I'm going to try a different, see if I can put my hair up differently or something. I'm going to try it again, of course, but it was hard with the, you know, with the masses amount of hair that I have. So it's good, but you just got to, you got to have shorter hair, I think. Then, now this is my find. This is going in my sweets, too. The Garnier Fructis, um, they're one minute hair mask, and there's a bunch of them. There's one that's like banana, this is avocado, there is a coconut one, and a papaya one. And they all do, they say they all do different things. So this one was just a smoothing treat. And then I have like a damage repair, and I can't remember what the coconut one was. I'll try to link them below, and I just got them at Target. This little one, this is 3.4 fluid ounces. It covered my whole head. I need a lot of product when I do stuff like this. So this was 350-ish. And then they have a bigger one that's 750. That's like 13 or 15 ounces or something like that. So it's better if you can find the big ones. But I was really impressed with these. These might replace these. It just, it just might. So, if you like doing deep conditioning masks, look at these. Oh, and they smell so great. I didn't get the banana one. Oh, it smells so good. Um, because it's banana. And it wasn't like banana bread smelling. It smelled like a banana Laffy Taffy. Like the banana, like that sweet, sweet, sweet banana. And I really didn't feel like having my head smell like that. So, yeah. I didn't get that. Finish this up, the Dove Refreshing Cure Fresh Coconut Dry Shampoo. I really like this. It does not smell like coconut, I don't think, in my personal humble opinion. Oh, my light does not like that. Sorry. Um, the white cast was not terrible on my hair. I'm trying a new one right now, and the white cast is terrible. So, yep, I like this one. If I ever find it on sale, or if I actually ever go through all of the dry shampoos that I have from all of the boxes that I get, I'll, I'll probably buy one of those. And I finally used, look, I cut the lid off just so I could scrape it out. This is the BB Don't Blow It Thick Hair Air Styler. I love, love, love this stuff. I don't know what it is made out of or what ingredients it has, but I really do feel like they it helps um, air dry your hair with whatever. It, it just, I don't know, it makes the moisture evaporate more or something. I don't know, but I really like this. One of my favorite things, and I don't have another one. I have one for the thin hair, like for thin hair. That one's for thick hair. Um, and it just doesn't work as well because of all of these. All right, let's go through makeup stuff. Makeup stuff. Oh, this is, is this makeup? Ultimate Hydro Gel Dr. Jart Water Fuse. Um, moisturizer. It was really good, but I like my, um, Neutrogena and Moisture Bomb. And it's cheaper. So, this is okay. It's just not, it's, it does the same exact thing. And it's cheaper if you get the drugstore guy. And then makeup stuff. Some of this is, I just think it's done. It's not that I necessarily used it up. Um, oh, the Organic Pharmacy Enzyme Peel Mask. Ooh, nope, it's not going to do it. Um, this was okay. We got it in a be the Beauty Fix, I think, last month. I can't remember. Um, it was okay. I wish there was more in it. It got it got me one use and that was it. So it's hard to judge. I won't go out and buy that. Then I got cat hair everywhere. These two lip liners from Tarte. These are the Tartiest lip liners, I guess. I had one in Later Gram and one in Mood Ring. These were both super dry coming out of the pack. So I don't know if they're normally dry like that. Or if it's just because they've sat for a while. I'm not a big lip liner person, especially if I don't have a matching lip color to it. Um, I have some lip liners, but I don't need any more. And I never grab for these, so they are so dry that I'm not even going to attempt it. Like, I don't like it if I put a lip liner on and it, like, pulls. 
nope, I'm done. Finished up one of these, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one. I have a zillion of these because anytime Urban Decay does a free gift, they usually send one of these. So I have about eight of them and I'm trying to go through them before I purchase my favorite, which is the Lorac um, Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. That is my favorite, 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 favorite of all time. Um, this one's about done. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I love this for a bottom lash. The formula is fantastic. It has never smudged on me. The brush is super teeny weeny weeny so I can really get up in there. Um, I bought another one because this is it's my favorite bottom lash mascara. Oh, I'm going to save my wand for that wildlife thing that I talked to you guys about before. So I'm going to save my wand so I can wash it off. And then these two, sadly, they are going away. I never reach for them. I have the hardest time working with them with older eyes. It just seems like it just sits on those wrinkles and just makes them look 10 times worse. No matter if I use a dab or a lot, I set it. I don't set it. It looks like crap. So I am done. It's just taking up space. I'm done with them. I like the Urban Decay, whatever this is. Urban Decay Naked Skin. That's my favorite. Last things, y'all. See, I should have done this before my hair actually washed out. So, as y'all know, if you've been with me for a while, if not, hello, welcome. We're just a little crazy bunch over here. Jamie's unboxings and beauty. Let me pull my hair back up. Well, maybe not because I probably should show you the color. So I've been coloring my hair under the underside um, since December and I love it. It lasts about a month. I use um, the Lime Crime. I think it works the best for my hair, um, the unicorn hair. So this color I actually mixed to myself. I had, when I first did it, I did this, the chocolate cherry. And then when that washed out, um, I think I did it again. Or I used a, another kind of purple. I can't remember. It's been too long. And then I did blue. And I love the blue. And it looked kind of galaxy because I didn't wash the pink all out. So it looked kind of like a galaxy blue. And then um, I needed to do it again, and I had a half and a half. So I mixed these two together. It became this deep, dark purple. It was a bit darker than this because this has been washing out for a few weeks. Um, so I mixed my own, and I put it on there, and it worked really, really well. I love having colored hair. I mean, I've always, I've been coloring my hair since I was like 13. But this is the first time I've like bleached and then colored uh, and, uh, I really do love it. I think these are great. They work best on blonde or bleached hair. And I really like using them. I have a bunch that I will still do. I haven't tried any of the lighter colors. With my coloring, I think it does better if I'm like, like dark or this blue. This blue is my favorite. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Um... Because it's just fantastic. And it's a mess. Look at how messy that jar is. It doesn't come like that. So that's all my empties for this month. We got through a lot of stuff. Thanks for hanging out with me. I am going to fill my, my sweets and sours for this month. Because I don't think I did one last month. Because I was so sick. And then I have a giveaway going up. Finally, Jamie. Jeez. So, um... Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.